flying colors. Not many other high school classes survived the worst of a war, a complete recession, and the infamous May 21st rapture. All the while dealing with the increasingly competitive, cutthroat, and overwhelming world known as high school. And of the seniors in high school that survived all that, only 96 were fortunate enough to come from High Tech High North County. However, I digress, we survived. If I ask you all to close your eyes for a second and think about that one huge thing you survived, almost instantly something would pop into your mind. Maybe the triple honors course load that some of us took on junior year without knowing the three, four, or five hours we'd spend on homework every single night. Maybe things more deeply rooted, the pinnacle of that conflict between your beliefs and your actions. Or maybe, for some of you, even the parents, all that comes to mind is, I can't remember what we survived, but it was four years of insanity. I'd like to remind us of something that maybe we all forgot we survived. Remember Oak Ridge Retreat, freshman year? Remember that night we had the talent show? And remember that last act, the one with our director, Miss Nikki, and how she so clearly <coughs> stated what her talent was, facing her fears. I bet you all forgot about the way she confidently let us down to the pool and climbed up the never-ending steps to that diving board. And let's be honest here, that diving board felt like it was 100 feet tall, and not 12. And once she got to the top, she encouraged us all to face our fears before she dove into that dark, cold pool. I remember my own reaction, no way am I doing that. But it was seconds before the next person climbed up the steps, in full clothing, I might add looked valiantly at the crowd of wide-eyed freshmen standing below him and jumped. And with that single action, that single I'll stand right next to you and face my fears with you moment, we became the class of 2011. Almost all of us took the plunge into that fearfully unknown pool that night, myself included. I remember distinctly as I approached the edge of the pool after making the big jump, a hand reached out and helped me out of the freezing body of water. Upon looking up, I realized it was someone I'd never, ever talked to. And that, perhaps, is the best representation of what High Tech High North County came to be. Just as we dove into the unknown pool of black water that night, we are now diving into a pool of uncertainty and wonder. Although the future is unwritten, we must take the dive and face our fears head on, just as we did that night. We must trust that just as we were each pulled out of the pool by a helping hand, we will find countless individuals who will make the same efforts to build our futures. Look at the great leaders we've had this year alone. From one-of-a-kind teachers that are telling you infamous stories from their submarine days one moment and talking about derivatives the next moment. Or unexpectedly blasting classic rock and drinking mate while passionately explaining how to build a greenhouse foundation. Or breaking out into spontaneous singing and laughter in the middle of a lecture on presidential roles. Or even the teacher that willingly goes along with dark, dark jokes about her obsession with black clothing in accordance to discussions on death and existentialism. <laughs> we have learned from the best. Not to mention the parents that still worry when we're out past nine on a school night. And if we survived and maybe even enjoyed their personalities, then I'm sure we can survive anyone in college. That single dive, that dive is the character of High Tech High. Each of us have dove into arenas of indefiniteness, beginning with that simple decision to leave all your friends of the past eight or so years and go to a small school that probably isn't even in the city you live in. More recently, our risks include building a full-on greenhouse, um, agreeing to give presentations to councilmen and mayors, and deciding on a college that you maybe haven't even visited before. These events have caused us to develop into unforgettable individuals. And I can guarantee that if you were to get to know any single student from this class, you'd find an extraordinarily beautiful quality in each and every one of them that is absolutely unparalleled. And perhaps more importantly, the way that we all followed in suit, as almost all of us ended up taking the dive that night, is the purest example of the most valuable quality in our class, love. After Miss Nikki dove into the pool that night, I know I wasn't the only one who in no way planned to take the plunge. But after the first student decided to dive, and the second, and the third, and so on, we developed an inv invaluable trust and love. 
We trusted the students that went before us enough to each dive into the freezing water that night. We've been close-knit from the beginning. And despite any conflicts, we without doubt have an unprecedented, unprecedented amount of love for each other. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has heard remarks from outsiders about how bizarrely huggy we are, especially the guys. This class was built on love, and ultimately, it's the love that's pushed us to survive the toughest years of our lives thus far. I know we have all had our moments when we felt that we were over this, we were over high school, better than it. But those thoughts were consistently erased by those single days where everything went right. Whether it was staying after school for a Super Smash Brothers competition, or going on a field trip to Balboa Park freshman year, or maybe even those Spanish fiestas in senior gains class. Regardless of the occasion, we have all felt that overwhelming feeling of, wow, I really do love these people, and I really will miss them. As we become a variety of things, beauticians, scientists, talk show hosts, mechanics, engineers, surgeons, actresses, and countless other things, it is my own hope that we remember where we came from, that we don't forget the teachers and parents that have led our way, the friends and family that have supported our paths, and more importantly, that we don't forget to tell these people we love them. I hope that we stay true to our roots and remember the value of loving a group of individuals for who they truly are. I hope in the same way that Nikki affected change in all of us by encouraging us to jump. We're able to affect change throughout the world. You're taking the biggest dive of your life, but if we survive so far, then we're bound to, well, you fill in the blank. Congratulations, class of 2011. <laughs> I'm Tina Chavez, and I'm the 12th grade government teacher here. And the, yeah, yeah, government. Woo! Um, I have the honor to 